Hey everyone, welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Remember the coffee table arcade machine? The coffee table with the monitor built into it? I decided I needed some kind of audio system connected to it. So I went with some of these little speakers, USB powered, um, tiny, cheapo, nasty, uh, five quid speakers. And unfortunately, these speakers didn't quite cut the mustard. Now, another thing to note is the Raspberry Pi has um, quite an unpleasant sound coming out of the audio port. That's because it doesn't actually have an onboard DAC, it's emulating. So you get quite a lot of noise coming out with the audio. So what I have here is an independent DAC. So we're gonna make use of this independent DAC. Over here, I have a pretty high quality digital audio amplifier a topping TP20 Mark II <laughs> and, uh, and then kindly donated by a neighbour of mine I've got a couple of little Gale speakers 3010S and these are two way so little bass driver and a little tweeter there um, so the plan is to bolt these speakers underneath the table Install the DAC, install the amplifier, and the other thing that this coffee table needs, clearly joysticks, we're working on those, but the other thing that this coffee table needs is the ability to be able to switch it on from the underside. Right, let's turn this table over and uh, get started working on the underside of it then. When I first put this together, I tried to get the monitor in flat, um, but I realized the viewing angle wasn't very good. So I ended up putting this contraption together, which effectively holds the monitor in place with gravity. So when the table's flat, as it normally is, the right way up, the monitor sits in here and is held in with its own weight. Achieving the correct viewing angle was a little bit interesting. So as you can see there, I bolted a hinge or screwed a hinge in place, and that gave me the ability to be able to adjust the angle of this back plate here. So over here, we've got the Raspberry Pi. We've got a power supply for the Raspberry Pi. This is a Pi 4, so it's using a USB-C power supply. So this here is an old laptop power supply that was given to me by my sister and that perfectly fits the monitor. Bit of a funny plug for those particular monitors. So watch out for that. I bought the monitor cheap on eBay with no power supply. So it's a bit of a fiddle trying to find something with that type of plug on it and also the appropriate voltage and current. So mounting the speakers in this particular location means the bass driver doesn't interfere with anything. The tweeter is uh, given the ability to be able to project its high frequency sounds out beautifully. You can still gain access to the terminals on the back of the speaker. I'm gonna bolt through here and here, put another piece of wood down here, bolt through there and there, in order to make sure that that speaker is well secured to the table and doesn't fall on anyone's foot. It's quite a heavy little beast.
I looked at the electric sockets, the four-way arrays with the switch on them, and it was quite expensive, about eight pounds. So I found this. This was a one pound sixty something, and this was about eighty p. So that's a much cheaper option. Um, so these are sort of uh, enclosures for uh, light switches, and this is indeed a light switch. It's all mains powered, and I can chop up my existing socket, put a cable in one end, cable out the other end, and bang, use the switch to turn everything on and off. Um, now, with these guys, what you can do, they have these little tabs on them that sit on there like that, and you can get a, a pair of pliers or a screwdriver and break that off, and then you can get uh, a screwdriver or something metal and um, just sort of continue to work those holes open. You've got to be a little bit careful uh, doing this because you don't want to break the shrouding um, and uh, split the thing down the middle. But, um, but yeah, this will work a treat, so uh, we'll go ahead and wire this up instead. Oh yeah, if you're going to do this, by the way, make sure the other end is unplugged first. So, there we go. We've got a cable that will feed into the box from this end, and feed into the box from this end, and then, oh, there, there it is, a switch. Um, so, what have we got then? We've got the uh, incoming main section over here which is clearly still unplugged Doo -doo -doo. Um, we've got to tie the earths together down here to this corner um, then what we're going to do is uh, tie the neutrals together with this little screwable chock block and then what we're going to do is we're going to wire in the switch with the two lives here So I'm a buffoon, I, um, I've blown up the amplifier, hence the delay, I've had to find a, an alternative, a replacement for it, so a uh, bit of luck, this will do the trick. Stupidly I got the wrong power supply and I plugged it into the amp, um, and on having looked at the specifications of the amplifier, 15 volts maximum, and uh, the power supply was a 19 volt power supply. So yeah, pop went that amplifier. So we've got to go ahead and change that out with this guy uh, and then we can get back on track. So I need to 3D print some little clips to hold the four-way socket in place because uh, clearly the double-sided sticky back plastic that I'm using <laughs> isn't man enough to be able to hold that down. So uh, we need to screw that into the, uh, into the table, into the underside of the table. Uh, and then we can get on and fit all of the other stuff that we intend to and uh, perhaps give this little audio system a bit of a test.
So in case you hadn't noticed, right here, this guy, this is the DAC. And uh, actually, I need to uh, screw this guy in place. So uh, whilst I'm doing that, I'll just give you an idea of what, what it is. Uh, ultimately, it's a digital to analog converter. So what it does is it takes the digital USB communications from the Raspberry Pi and it makes magnificent sounds <laughs> much better sounds than uh, than the raspberry pi can make with its emulator effectively uh, so i had a hack and bodge a usb cable there because as you can see there was four wires that needed to be connected to the pcb and uh, no usb connector on it so ultimately then what we've got is we've got a high quality dac here connected to the raspberry pi 4 um, and that is connected to a class d amplifier just here and that's connected to some fantastic speakers so uh, right i think we've got enough screws in to keep that in place that's relatively solid again i didn't want to tighten those screws down um, because that'll probably put a bit of stress on the PCBs. So next thing to do is plug in this little red cable here and that'll go in bonk, just like that. So clearly we need to do a little bit of cable routing, make things look pretty. So what I've been doing um, in Shaper 3D, this software here, using a pair of digital calipers, I have been creating some brackets these two brackets here are specifically to hold in the four-way extension block so that'll clamp on both ends you can see there's a little cut out there for the cable to uh, to go through and then this guy here is for one of the power bricks around the other side and uh, you'll notice then that this guy is ever so slightly taller than, uh, than the other guys because there's a little bit of padding and the power brick's a little bit taller. Um, so with these three clamps in place, once they're printed, I should be able to just screw down through the top here and screw into the table, into the underside of the table, taking care not to screw through the table. That would be a disaster. Um, and uh, yeah, that should hold everything nicely in place now. While waiting for our five hour print to run, I thought I'd go ahead and tidy up some of these cables. And it's perhaps time to turn this bad boy on and see uh, how, uh, well, set it up and see how it performs. Okay, so without further ado, let's hope nothing goes bang. All right, we've got some lights on. Oh, that's sort of encouraging. Plenty of lights on. And, uh, oh, and Raspberry Pi symbols. And now, with a little bit of luck, we have music. Thanks to Dubious Engineering on YouTube. Let's turn the volume up a little bit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nice bit of bass. Yeah, that is sounding absolutely magnificent. I'm really quite pleased with that. <laughs> Epic, cool. So finally, we have a nice quality audio system running on this coffee table computer. Right, let's get these brackets fitted, clean everything up, reassemble it, and we should be good to go. And boom, there they are. Let's break these bad boys off the new build plate. Oof. Thanks, easy peelsy. I'm digging this build plate. Awesome. Let's go downstairs and fit them. The 
my wife insisted last night that I get the te the glass back on it so that we could sit down and eat. <laughs> but um, we're getting there. We're really getting there now. We've got a decent audio system in here. Um, so there's none of that nasty hissy noise coming from the Raspberry Pi because now there's a proper DAC, a proper little amplifier and some nice quality speakers in it. So uh, that's really sort of stepped things up. Okay, so next on the list of things to do is to create 3D print a little fascia that goes on the front of the coffee table here, just below the lip. And uh, on that, we're gonna extend the two USB three ports so we can plug in some joysticks. And as you know already, if you've seen the other videos, I've been working on some joysticks. So um, soon we'll have a couple of joysticks that we can take out and plug in USB joysticks uh, and you can sit here and play to your heart's content or perhaps put the joystick on your lap and play to the heart's content. So uh, yeah, still plenty of work to do, but we're really taking shape now. As always, thanks ever so much for watching. Maybe there's something in here that you would have done different. Please feel free to pop a comment in the comment section down below. I always enjoy reading your comments and I always make sure I do my best to reply to each and every one of them. Give us a good old thumbs up. And perhaps share this with some friends that you think might enjoy it. Go and check one of our other videos out as well. A lot of instructions there, isn't there? Take care, people. Thanks ever so much for watching. Cheers and beers. Have a wonderful weekend.